Hello and welcome to this video. My name is Adrian, real estate investor based in Warsaw and I have a few properties in Tbilisi that I rent on a long-term basis. So today, let me ask you something first. Do you like high ROI properties where money is working very hard for you? Well, I got a very, very nice treat for you today. This is sweeter than chocolate, sweeter than candy. All right, we're gonna be talking about ROI higher than 25% in a year. So I filmed everything when I was at the property and today I'm gonna walk through the numbers with you, the bottom line, so you know exactly how much you're gonna be making. So let's go through the videos so you can see the property, you can feel it, you can see where it's at. And then let's go through the numbers. It's a very beautiful day, maybe 30 degrees outside, very humid. I just wanted to tell you that I'm really excited to show you this project. It's one of my friends project who is an investor in Warsaw. And as you can see, I'm in the train station that's called Stadion Narodovi, which means the people's uh, stadium or the nation's stadium. From here, we're going to take the train and go to Baver. So as you can see here i'm gonna show you the train is coming soon just wanted to show you how it looks and that is the stadium back there as you can see with the red and white polish colors so yeah exciting so we're gonna look at this house i'm gonna show you what the project is what the investment can be and how much returns we can expect so this area that we're going to is not too far from here i'll show you on the map it's oh you see that train behind me yeah so this area is maybe like 30 minutes by train away from the center, 30, 40 minutes. So it's still a residential area. With car, it's gonna take 30 minutes. So it's still a very nice, like green neighborhood with trees, with everything you can imagine. And it's cheaper, much cheaper than the center. And you can have a nice house with your own parking space and you're still close to the city. So yeah, awesome. Let's go on the train. Here we are, finally, in a cool place. These are actually quite modern. I really like the air-conditioned space. So yeah, I already have my ticket. We're just gonna keep going. So as you guys can see, we are here in uh, Otwosk and my friend here is telling me that half of the population before the war here was Jewish or Yedzin, Yed, I don't know how it's called in Polish. This is very not like Warsaw. This is a very beautiful area, green, quiet, other than the dogs. And that is why it's still a gem. As Warsaw is growing, this area will continue to grow. And there are a lot of big houses with big lands where they could potentially be divided into many smaller beautiful countryside suburban apartments and they will have maybe their own parking their own yard that is the attraction of this place and just look at it it's very beautiful So this is the, the house we're talking about right here. As you can see, it's huge. Probably space for 10 apartments there. I mean, it's right next to the train station. So this is perfect. Just imagine if it was fully, fully furnished and now we're trying to destroy and make it modern again, that would be actually harder. But this house has been empty, sitting empty for 40 years, I think. I'm, I'm not sure. And as you can see, there are many windows and we can even make extra windows with these beautiful trees. We can have parking spots here. I'll tell you the numbers later, but just know that this house was bought or is bought with uh, not that expensive uh, for the ground and for the building itself. It's like the, the cost is very, very, very good. And now the biggest cost will be the actual renovation, the separation, the legal documents. Everything is going to be fully legal, fully transparent. And with that, we're going to be looking 
trading at a at a good profit within one and a half two years but yes so i'll show you as much as i can right now everything is uh rusted old but it's not going to be like this within one year or two years and it's perfect so anyone who doesn't have a car they can just use the public transportation so guys i don't know if you can see there's some trampoline right there some swings so this is the house we are looking at and there's going to be three floors one two and three each apartment is going to have their own parcel of land here it's going to look very different this house is 30 years old and it has not had anything done to it for a long time the amazing thing is that it's out of brick it's basically fully built so there's going to be minimal destruction minimal uh, demolition of course these wooden structures are gonna get removed but everything is just full brick amazing insulation the roof might need a rework now we're going inside as you can see we're just gonna bring the floor up and make it level i mean it is perfectly ready to get uh, a nice renovation get the pipes in have the kitchens have the rooms here so this is probably gonna be a toilet as I can see, that's probably going to be a hole there. The ventilation right there. So, yeah. Great. I mean, this is going to be beautiful when it's structured. Maybe parking space. Oh, there's some, uh, there's some kids right there. They love to be in the video. Right there, you can see. <laughs> so, they're, they're curious, little kids. They don't know what's going on. They are thinking, why is these people in this old house? So... But it's, uh, yeah, let's go, let's see upstairs what we have. I'm not sure if it's safe, but I'm going anyways. I hope there's no campers here. I imagine there was probably a rich guy who was building a huge house for himself and his big family. Big Polish family. But they just stopped the work because maybe they went outside of Poland. You can see there are nice old houses here not too old but someone's repairing a car right there above the ground so they didn't finish this building i can see that this was probably divided into many quite large bedrooms and there's even another floor upstairs from what i can see everything basically is finished everything structural is finished and now there's going to be just a refitting drywall you can see the marking right there i'm actually very curious if i can check up one more one more step oh there was probably some drunk guys here this is the attic right now we are in the majestic attic and yeah there was definitely someone here and someone was sleeping right there as you can see but just enjoy the view that's the train line right there so this is gonna also become new apartments and they're probably gonna make windows on the roof so that's gonna look very modern very cool i mean this is quite huge so yeah as you can see there's one side like that and one side like this and this is basically two sides of the same house so quite interesting let's go down this side this time same floor plan probably some of these partition walls oh there's some graffiti right there some of these partition walls are gonna get removed because you need to make a nice modern flat so we don't need the partition walls it's gonna be more open space yeah well now i'm on the other side of the flat so before we were right there and now we are on this side. Just imagine having steps right there. You go down and there's there's a nice water fountain. There's like separation because each apartment will have their own little parcel of yard. And there's already some separation between this house and that house where they got a pool. And here we can plant plant something beautiful. And uh, <laughs> there's a neighbor right there. And uh, there's going to be parking spaces right there. Yeah, maybe a beautiful pool for the for all of the residents 
Do you hear that? That's the train. You can basically have an apartment outside of the city and the only noise that you would be hearing would be the train. And it's only 30 to 40 minutes away by car. Yeah, the, the potential is huge. Maybe a three to four million zloty. We haven't counted exactly, but that's the approximation. With that kind of investment, this is gonna be a very easy to sell apartment. It's not too expensive. And per square meter, it's gonna be still much, much cheaper than competing apartments in Praga Południe, which is not that much closer and this kind of apartment would not even exist there. all right so now that you have seen the property let's go through the numbers and the actual nitty-gritty details of this uh, project okay so let's see what we're looking at here we have let's say 14 one two three let's see we have 14 separate properties we're gonna divide this house into 14 separate properties or maybe actually 15 but we'll talk about that later so as you can see during this short time that we've been looking for investors we already have 11 of these properties booked up because it's just such a great deal okay we are buying this property with 800,000 zloty this is including the building i mean it's crazy that we're getting the building basically for free land in that area that land by itself would be worth 600,000 zloty okay so we're basically getting the building for free and as you saw the location is just amazing so with the properties that are available now i'll just go through some numbers so you can get a feel for what's happening so let's say we're taking this property that is 28 square meters all right with 28 square meters you're gonna be paying in three phases to own this investment the first phase you're gonna be paying 50,000 zloty okay this is just to acquire the property and the payment will be before September 15th that's when we have promised the owner that we will buy the property and we have it currently under contract phase two or let's say phase one which is the renovation cost will be another 68,000 zloty and that is until November 15th all right so 50,000 zloty that's around $12,000 as you can see the exchange rate is around 4.1 uh, usd to pln and so in the first stage you're paying twelve thousand dollars and becoming a shareholder of the land and then we begin the renovation process as soon as possible after we have separated the property which shouldn't take that much time we have experts on our team who have done this many times which you'll meet later if you're interested in this project and the other investors that even invested before with the same team you can see the, even the last project so everything is going to be clear and concise all right so we got two renovation phases two payments the second payment for the second phase is going to be on april 15th all right so all in all the purchase your purchase plus the renovations is going to be 188,000 000 zloty all right that's the total investment for that apartment which is around $45,000. You're getting an apartment for $45,000. Basically, this is just, uh, yeah, it's crazy. And this is gonna be fully like furnished, renovated, and you're gonna be able to sell it for probably around, let's see, for this smaller apartment, it's gonna be higher cost. Let's say around 12,000 zloty. And you might be asking, well, Adrian, how do I know I can sell it for 12,000 zloty per square meter? Good that you ask. Let's look at some numbers here, okay? So. I just searched on Autodom, which all of you have access to. You can go there and search. You just put Otvosk, which is this uh, region or let's say city uh, exactly next to the border of Warsaw. And you can put uh, up to 50 meters of apartments, flats, and just see for yourself what you find, okay? And from what I'm seeing, a fully renovated flat right here, a beautiful new two-room freshly renovated apartment, 10,000 zloty, all right? And this is just renovated. We have no idea how the house looks and we have no idea how it actually is. So this is in the attic, which is closer to our estimations for the attic. If we go back here, we are counting at 10,500 zloty per square meter for the attic apartments that are left here. So we have the basement, ground floor, first floor and attic. So this apartment is in the attic and if we look closer it looks quite nice and 
10,000 zloty per square meter. And by, by the way, this is nothing for Warsaw, okay? People buy this stuff because they want easy to pay off mortgages, small families that are just starting their lives. And I'm not sure if this place is coming with a parking space. Let's read here. It says that it's close to Schwider, which is also our case. So this is a good comparable for the attic apartment. And then we see some older flat like this. This I wouldn't call renovated and the house looks pretty old. And this is for around 9,000 zloty per square meter, all right? This one looks a bit nicer. Let's see. Yeah, looks okay. This one is selling for 11,000 per square meter. And this is today, guys. The renovation is going to be finished, let's say, in one year to one and a half year. Like everything, everything is ready to sell. By that time, do you think the price is going to be the same? So let's see where, where this place is. It's a General Kazimierz Sosnow, Sosnow. Kofsky. My Polish gets uh, worse and worse <laughs> by the day, it seems. Um, so this is the street. By the way, as you can see here, here are the metro stations, Otwosk and Schwider. This is so far away and it's selling for 11,000 per square meter. All right. Of course, this is not a guarantee that this will sell, but that's what they want to sell. And usually Polish people don't put like two inflated prices. Don't quote me on that, but that's what I've seen. The prices are usually around the market rate. Another flat over here, 9,500 per square meters. It's basically not renovated. It's an old apartment and the location, it's probably 10 minutes walk. Let's see, 15 minutes walk to the train station. All right, that's compared to our two minutes walk in our property. So this is a huge downside and they're trying to sell an, at nine and a half. So it's not, uh, we don't know who's gonna buy it when there's not furnishings in the apartment at this price. So that's that one and by the way because we have two attic apartments i've prepared some pictures just so you get an idea of how an attic apartment can look i know myself i've never lived in a house with an attic but they can look quite modern they can look very cozy so this is some example i've uh, prepared for myself yeah so that's how it can look or like this we can by the way because this is we are doing the renovation from the ground up we can basically add windows we can make the attic apartment into three apartments three so then your ROI can be higher since you're selling smaller apartments. Usually the smaller the apartment, the higher the price per square meter um, because you still need a kitchen there, you still need a bathroom, all the pipings. So there are higher costs mm, per square meter for a smaller apartment, right? And yeah, so an attic apartment can look quite good. It's just about how we design it. And you can be part of that design process. That's the amazing part. This is a redevelopment project. So as you've seen the comps, 10,000 is the bare minimum, okay, per square meter for the attic ones. And 11, 12 easily for, for this apartment that's left. And everything else has been already booked, sadly, but this is not gonna be the last project. Join our Facebook group so you can be notified. I'll let you know when there's other cool projects like this coming up and maybe we'll buy the whole house next time and uh, renovate it. So let's continue. So for this flat, we were saying 50,000 down payment, let's say, or you buy the share of the land, 68 for renovation, 1,000 zloty, 68 for phase two of the renovation. So in total, 188, which is $45,000. This is your total cost, 12,000, 16,000, 16,000, as you can see for yourself. And you're gonna sell it at 340,000, which is 12,000 per square meter. And this apartment is 28 square meters, okay? If I'm going too fast, just go back in the in the timeline and rewatch, all right? By the way, most of these apartments don't have a parking space. We have 1,300 square meters of land. That's probably around uh, 12,000 square feet. I'm not sure, Don't uh, Americans don't hate on me. We're gonna add that to the price and you're basically getting that for free because we're developing it. And 30,000 zloty, around $7,000 for a parking space. It's not too much. So your profit after one year, let's say one and a half years, is gonna be 181,000 zloty, which is $45,000. And you might be like, what? That's double what I put down. Right, but we're gonna share the profit 50-50, as you're gonna see very soon. So there's an income tax, depending on how your tax situation is, consult uh, your tax accountant, you might be able to lower this. Let's just say 19% is the usual. So your investment profit is going to be 147,000 zloty after taxes, which is $35,000. And for this investment, we are sharing the profit 50-50. We are putting together the whole deal 
We are managing the renovation. You don't have to worry about anything. You just put the money down and we will take care of each step and give you updates as we go forward. So you just put the money down. Your profit after everything will be 73,000 zloty after taxes and after the sharing with the general partners. And your profit is going to be $17,000. So $17,000, if you divide that by your investment, which is $45,000, that's 39% ROI. Guys, you heard me right. 40%, around 40% ROI. That's nuts, okay? That's amazing. For those of you who have already invested in Poland or abroad, doesn't matter. You know that this is a great ROI. For the attic apartments, it's gonna be probably a bit lower. Well, I have an idea how to divide this. We can we can talk with the architects to see how feasible that is. We can get it higher, but let's say even with conservative assumptions of 10,000 zloty per square meter, we're gonna be around 26.5% ROI. So 26 to 40%. That's the numbers we're talking about. Yeah. So you you got to be aware that we have some simple assumptions. We are assuming that we can sell at this price, which is I would say a conservative price and we are selling again in the future. So it might be 10% higher or 5% higher the price, the selling price. And the area is growing as you saw in the video. This will continue to grow. That's our that's our feeling. That's what my emotions are telling me. And we are also assuming that we're going to spend around 5000 zloty or $1,200 per square meter. That's quite high because as you saw, we don't have to demolish anything really. We just have to do the fit out for this building. Lay the cement, put the walls up. If you want to get more familiar with the renovation process, keep watching my videos and I'll show you actually the demolition, the plastering, putting the furniture in. Those videos are coming up now. So you will get more familiarized with the process. It's not scary. It's just numbers and doing it. So another thing that's important, you got to be an EU citizen, European Union citizen, because we are buying raw land. This is a development project in a way. You need permission if you're not from the EU to buy land. It's possible to get it, but we would prefer to work with someone who's already in the EU right now because there's less paperwork. I want to show you how the floor plan looks. You probably saw the video and how the house looks, but here's gonna be the future floor, floor plan, okay? So we're gonna have four service areas in the basement and they're basically all already sold out. So yeah, that's the basement. Then we have the first floor. And as you can see, number M4, this is still available, 28 square meters. And that's the one with around 40% ROI. You gotta be fast, come and see the project, come and meet us. Maybe you can have this one. This is the second floor, let's say, and all of these apartments already taken. And then we have the attic. The attic, both apartments are still left. One idea that I have, which we'll talk about later, is that I'll actually divide this into three apartments. Let's say one for 30 square meters, another 30, and the third one also 30. Because 45, 45 is 90, 90 divided by three, 30. So that could be possible. And in that case, we're gonna get an even higher ROI for, for the attic units. So what's stopping you from investing in this project and getting the ROI that you really want? Get in touch with us, come and see the project, come and meet the last investors in the other projects that we've had and decide for yourself if this is something suitable for you. You can have one of these apartments, you can have all of them that are left, of course, in the attic and one in the first floor or the ground floor. Guys, if you're enjoying these kind of videos where I'm going through the deals from the beginning to end, showing you everything, the ins and outs, the calculation, click that subscribe button so you can see more of these kind of videos. And if you haven't already watched my renovation video, click right here and I'll see you right there.